Hallo, Herr Petri, Fietz. Ja? Accident. Yeah. Train accident. Yes. So, the blood, blood clotting on my feet. So you can't walk without crunches? Yes. Show me how you use these crunches. Seriously. Carry on walking. Carry on. Carry on with the crunches. Do you feel pain now? Le Eh? Eh? Yes, but I feel the pain. You feel pain. Yes, so you, you can't use this leg because of pain. Yes, Pastor. You can't use it. I can use it really, but not no more left. I have to use crashes. Crashes. Yes, Pastor. Now you are using it. Now you are using it. If you can use it going back, you can use it going forward. Amen. You are using it now. Now you can go forward now. Use it. Oh, use it. Walk fast, come to me. Ah. Amen. How do you feel? I feel like a young man, Pastor. Huh? Like a young man. 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 The strength of the Lord. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor. Sit down. I will tell you something. You feel like a young man. <laughs> ah, look at those cry brother. <laughs> look how he's holding the crunches now. Ah. <laughs> I stand up again and I'll present God. in Jesus name. Thank you for watching Charis TV. This is the Friday deliverance service and the man of God was ministering deliverance unto the congregants and he came across a man who was using two crunches and he prayed for him and he asked him to show him how he was working and after that, after he was prayed for he dropped the crunches and started working on his own and he'll be introducing himself to us and telling us what caused him to be using the crunches that he came with here today. Papa, can you tell us your name and where you come from? Okay, my name is Christopher Mazeboko. I'm from here in Tembisa, in Mkanta Tembisa, Mkanta section, yes. Papa, can you tell us the challenge that made you to come to Charles Missionary Church here today? Yes, it, it was after a long, uh, painful uh, life that, that I've uh, encountered. After I was uh, involved in a train accident in California and there. So both my shoulder and, and my knee broke, get broken. Eh? So after that, ever since I was fit by the doctors, fit, fit by doctors, so I kept on feeling time and again pain, time and again pain, up until I came to Charles Church. My wife told me to come here, and then I came on Friday to on Friday. So Office Pastor showed me, saw me, and then I was paid for. Yes. And Papa, you mentioned that uh, the accident took place in Calfontaine. Can you tell us what you, what is it that you were doing there, and when did it happen? All right, it was 24 of October, 2016. I was going to work. And then uh, the, the train was, 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 was using the wrong rail line. So the other one coming in front of it and then it hit our train. So the time it hit our train, I was sitting on the, on the coach. So that coach ejected me through the wind. I fell outside. So I was conscious. So like, I didn't know anything was happening. People who told outside, they told me that, that I came out through the window. So I, I couldn't believe it, and I, I tried to run away. I thought maybe it, 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 that is happening now. Of which now, I, of which now I was safe from running out of state. So I found out that my shoulder was broken, and that, that window was broken with my shoulder, and then my, my knee 
was above, just, just above the knee. The left knee, the left side was also, also breaking up. And then at that time, on that accident, on that accident, yes. So after that, I was taken to hospital, yes. So after the operations, I came to Charis. Then I was told that I'll be healed after six months by the doctors. Yeah, I was only healed for shoulder, it was took only 28 days. The knee, uh, after the operation, it took only three weeks. Then I could, it only three weeks, then I, would try, uh, uh, then I could try to work without the sticks, but after the man of God saw me, and they paid for me, then I, I think now I, I, I can work without his crashes, as he, as he did there on, on the stage there, yes. And you said that the doctor said uh, you wouldn't walk for after six months and you got operated many times. Is this the reason why they gave you these two crunches to use? Yeah, that's the reason because uh, the knee is a, is a very sensitive part. That above the knee, it was broken and then they fixed it. So they said it will take uh, up to six months for me to, to, to get to, that, to, to, be, to be healed, even though I will be like a, a disabled person. But the pain will go after six months. Right? Remember, I was I was having uh, this called this thing called uh, uh, the sling on my shoulder. That's why they give this type of this type of of of, um, of crashes. Right? So for me, to so, so have less balance. But here, in as I come, as I keep on coming here, I was paid for here by, by other lady, lady pastors. Then 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 I was no longer using the, uh, that uh, sling. I was only, only using the crashes up until today. Uh, uh, on the 17th, one pastor saw me and then prayed for me. And when the man of God was approaching you, what is it that was coming to your mind? You know, I was all, I've seen him praying for people, people getting delivered, people getting healed. I said, but he never came to me and then he's talk about these crashes. He just played and he passed on. But today, it was my day whereby he just asked me, who crashes? I said, there are my crashes. And they said, take the crashes and walk, show me how to walk. The time, the time I've shown him, the more I showed him, it is the more then I, uh, uh, the, the, the pain was getting away, was invading. So I don't feel any, uh, any pain, any pain from now. Yes. And then when the men of God prayed for you and you threw the crunches down, how did you feel? You see, as I told him, I feel like a, like a young man. These are just for the corrections. I don't know, maybe I tell them, I don't know how to do that. I won't need this anymore. Yes, yeah, so now as men of God prayed for me, then I had the faith in me and I believe that I will no longer depend on the crashes. It takes faith for me to have to really be healed. Thank you. We saw that you were surprised when you took the first step and you saw that your leg was working and you, could not, you were no longer using the crunches. Can you tell us about that? What was the shock all about? Yes, the shock was that the left knee there behind the portrait, it was very painful for me today. Till the whole night, even today, the whole day, as I sit down, it was also painful. But immediately he touched, he touched me, then the pain just go. Pew. That's why I was so shocked. That's why I, I tried to go walk, kicking and kicking and kicking. The pain was no more, was no more there. So I was believed, and I knew that I, the pain is steadily uh, healed. Yes, yes. Indeed, by Jesus' stripes we are healed. Did you believe after you were prayed for and you were healed that this is God's power upon my life? Jesus has healed me completely, just like that, instantly. Yes, in my mind something came that I must thank God for Jesus who brought this wonderful young man, Pastor, Pastor, Pastor Apostle Makanyane Sachu, to, to help me. I, I didn't have any other, op, uh, uh, other hope left remaining for me. I thought oh, it would be like my life, it would be my life like this. But anyway, I thank God for that because Pastor, he even said that we must also believe in Jesus, that it that will be totally, be totally be healed. Yes. Amen. Amen. So, Papa, can you tell us what are the words of encouragement? As you can see that there are other people out there also that are suffering from different kinds of diseases. They are also using crunches, wheelchairs. You came here, you believed God, and you were healed today. What is it that you can say to them? Uh, you know, number one, if anybody is having any problem, that, that he have no other options. He must just come to Charis and make, make sure that he meet Pastor, Pastor Apostle Makanyanesa, he will be healed. You know what? There's no other way. God is alive. Christ Jesus is present here. Holy Spirit, the presence of Holy Spirit is in this place. It is amazing. The Father of God, it is here. I've seen it happening. And then I think I will bring more testimonies. Other things are not revealed, but I will reveal them. Every time it goes on, testimonies are coming from me. This is the first one of this healing, of, of, of healing and take through of, the, of these uh, crashes. I think others are still coming. Watch me. Jesus is here. 
and, and, then, and then I think it takes faith. It takes faith and a clean life for a person to be totally, to be, totally be healed. Yes. Thank you. We thank you so much for joining us. Indeed, God is still doing wonders, signs and miracles. And as we have witnessed your instant healing here today, I believe that also the viewers out there that are watching, they are very much encouraged. And you should also believe for your own miracle because Jesus, he said in his word that by his stripes we are healed. If you believe, it will be done unto you. And we believe, Papa, that indeed this healing, it is permanent. You will be coming back here with more testimonies in Jesus' name. I, yes, I thank you for that. And the people must take note that Christ Jesus is alive. He not in heaven, he's in here, in, here he's on earth. Most especially here in Charis. Should they come here, I think nothing ever is above the, 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 the grace of Jesus Christ. They will be healed if they come here. Like myself, I am healed. I, I hope also they will also be healed. In Jesus' name, I thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> Keep on watching Charis TV and be blessed. Amen.